go to the Jade Helm videos, is that a, is that a, a lot of them were saying about Walmart closings when the first of the Walmart closings started. They started talk talking about um, how they were putting um, uh, fences around them on, and making them into federal camps. And people were hearing booming noises right before they did that at the one in Ohio. And I've been living in Blythewood here for the last year now and I've been hearing booming noises. And that's been kind of frightening me because when I heard um, one of the videos in the Ohio one saying that they heard booming noises, that showed that they were talking about building underground. Um, places and there's been so many of these Walmarts being closed down and turned into these federal facilities and closed off and when they take a Walmart from a town that this is the only store that these people have to to get everything from there's only one other grocery store that's in this town so why would you close down a, t a, a grocery store that everybody, all these old people get their medicine from? That just says a lot. And, and I, and I kind of feel like it's because we're a bunch of country folks out here, so we're not going to like um, put a big old protest. And a lot of the people, when I talk to them out here, a lot of them don't know about Jade Health. And with a lot of the stuff. A lot of people say it's conspiracy theory stuff, but if you go to these other Walmarts and then you see what they're doing out in the West Coast, why is the federal government buying all this property out in the West Coast? The West Coast is one who's been fussing and fussing about it, and the East Coast just has been blind to it, and the media is truly, truly being blind to it. Although there has been episodes where they've had some media people report on it, and then they got hushed up very hushed up and there's been reports of media people being hushed up as soon as they reported about it so I take that fear of anybody that does report about it and because I mean the federal government's just so powerful and my only scare is we were so blind during Nazi Germany and we, we allowed and we listened to the media and what I've always told people, media sometimes breeds ignorance. And that's exactly what the Nazis, they, that's what happened. They, they believed what Hitler was telling them. And right now we believe everything the federal government feeds to us. unveiled here and today I have a lot to share with you so I just want to get right to it. I'm going to be talking about Walmart and how they relate to FEMA camps and how they're converting Walmarts into FEMA camps. You need to see what time it is and you do not want to be deceived come martial law because it's even at the door. So like I said, I'm at Dave Hodges, The Common Sense Show. I highly recommend you all check out his website. He gives a lot of good information and a good, a lot, a lot, a hefty amount of insider knowledge. Now here, he says that Marlon Brock from Big Spring, Texas has decided to take up the cause and report on Jade Helm activities at the closed Walmart located in Midland, Texas. So this person gives Dave Hodges some insider scoop on Walmart and what they're really doing in some of these Walmarts across the country. And he goes on to say, 
Uh, so he gives some photos and he goes on to say, Dear Mr. Hodges, my name is not important, but what I want to tell you may be very important to this country. I work for a private contractor that secretly goes to work sites and performs add-ons and retrofits in construction, electrical, etc. We are sworn to secrecy in some of our jobs and we are very well paid. I have been to the Walmart in Midland that you have written about and what is going on there is not normal and I don't think it's in the best interest for the people who live in the country called America. Each day on this job we enter Walmart through a subterranean entrance. We are forced to change clothes and we are allowed to take nothing in so we cannot take pictures. We change clothes when we are done with our 12 hour shifts. There is work going on 24 7 in this Walmart. Our work is compartmentalized in most of our work sites so we don't know what we are working on on it in its final status. At this Walmart they seem to be in a hurry because I've seen enough to draw conclusions about the final product and it contains some things that you've already written about. Now listen to this and please they are not making this up but it says in each corner of the Walmart they are constructing four guard towers or at least they look like guard towers. There's no question what I'm seeing here. This made the hairs on the back of neck stand on end. All the display counters and shelves from this Walmart have been taken out of the store. That story that they are saying about the plumbing is BS. And then he goes on to say what he saw inside of the building. What did he see? He saw men with DHS, Department of Homeland Security, and Alphabet Soup, be aware, badges, which we are used to seeing in the jobs that we do. This time we are also seeing men with UN badges and they wear the shirt and tie and like the DHS guys, they have their construction helmets on as they appear to be planning as much implementing. The place is guarded by private contractor armed with automatic weapons. I have not seen one military person on the inside in uniform. It is all DHS, UN, and us in the building. Usually there are 50 to 100 people working. I've seen as many as 300 people. Now, why would they need all those people working at this one little Walmart? Why would they need DHS and the UN at Walmart in the middle of Texas? That doesn't make sense unless they are preparing for something. And then goes on and he talks about the shelves and display cases that were taken out, uh, the overnight 12 sh uh, hour shift, and they uh, installed the TSA type of entry near the rear of the store as well as the front of the store. But get this, also the large and wide glass windows and doors were narrowed by a lot on the inside of the store. I immediately thought of prisoners. They're converting these Walmarts and making them into prisons. Don't you see the agenda what's happening here? It's not good. And so he goes on to talk about it. And then he gives the photos of the guy. And as you can see, here's the photo of taking out all the shelving. What are they making room for? Doesn't this match what Watcher said about the shelving disappearing from this Walmart? And the pictures go on and on. Note the unmarked white vans. Very similar to the vans used in Fort Lauderdale's extraction drills on March 27th. Obviously, it's undeniable that they are getting ready for something. What are they getting ready for? Martial law. And they're converting these Walmarts into it. I'm going to show you more of the agenda at hand. Now recently Walmart tried to tell us and tried to give us this baloney story that they had plumbing problems and that's why they closed a ton of Walmarts the past couple of months. I mean how stupid do they think we are? How dumb do they think we are? I mean the government hasn't brainwashed us that much. I mean come on. They even told us that they were doing plumbing or working on plumbing issues for six months. No, they're not working on no plumbing issues. The only issues they're working on is implementing martial law. And notice Walmart will look at wall and go backwards, L-A-W for law, and then Mart add I-A-L and you and put the two together, you get martial law. So this report says not just one, but five Walmart stores across the U.S. are closing their doors due to plumbing problems that in some cases will take four to six months to repair. It doesn't take that long for plumbing to repair with a big organization like Walmart. Give me a break. And the locations they give, they give one in Texas, no, two in Texas, uh, excuse me, one in Oklahoma, one in Florida, and one in California. Why is that? Could those be target locations? I don't know. But it goes on to talk about what they say and just about the report in general. You can come read this for yourself. But more importantly, I want to get to you with the real ad agenda at hand. And that is these Walmart tunnels. Walmart tunnels. Conduits for dumbs, FEMA, ETs, Chinese military, or cheap labor. Or like I like to say, all of the above. It's by, li it's by Liberals Unite. Now, 
I don't know if you all know this, but this is not a conspiracy. But what is Walmart also doing? Walmart is converting a lot of their Walmarts, not only in the FEMA camps, but they also are providing underground tunnels. So picture this. Martial law has just been declared. There's been some earthquake or natural dis or man made disaster in your area or an EMP or whatever. And FEMA is on the scene and they're telling you that the only place you can go to get water and food, and they're probably going to label it free water and food, is at Walmart. Okay, well, you go to Walmart and then they tell you, oh, there's another threat. You need, you all need to go underground. Where do you think these underground tunnels are leading you? They are leading you to these FEMA camps. They're leading you to the detention camps. And Walmart is at the center of this nefarious agenda. Because what is the goal of Walmart? Walmart is trying to basically guzzle up every store they can so that Walmart's the only available store that you can go to. And come martial law, I would not be surprised if Walmart will be the only store open and available where you can get goods. Because they're trying to put you into these FEMA camps. And they're doing any way they can can to do it and I know and just even talking about this makes me makes chills run down my spine because I know how nefarious this is but honestly it goes much deeper than just the rabbit hole it's much deeper than you think so on this report it says in doing research for my post on Jane Helm 15 I ran across references to so-called Walmart tunnels tunnels supposedly constructed to help the feds take over Texas, Earth to Dumba conspiracy theorists. The feds took over Texas back in 1845 and again in 1865. Okay, let's keep going. But it says about the same time as the threat of Jade Hill 15 reared its ugly head, Walmart announced the abrupt closure of five out of five, 4,520 stores for so called plumbing problems. The stores are due to be closed for six months, and we know it's not because of plumbing problems. So, and according to Snopes, there are problems with this because six months is way too long. Uh, the company never said anything about pl uh, plumbing to the county, so we know they are in fact lying. Now, of course, they're trying to make it seem as if that this is all, you know, that this is all a, a conspiracy and a cover-up, but what is DH doing? They are trying to connect these tunnel systems with these Walmarts so that it can be, can be easier for the government to move troops around when they impose martial law and to move you around to put you into FEMA camps when this happens. And this is nothing new. This tunnel system has been set up for over 30 years. But don't get it twisted. There will be martial law coming sooner than you think. You rolling? Yeah, you rolling? Yeah, yeah, we're good. This is John Wanick of the Resistance. I don't know how far this broadcast will reach. They've taken the city. They're trying to erase us. Now more than ever, we need you to act. And if you're receiving this message, you've been recruited. Welcome to the fight, Patriot. Yeah, fight, fight! Our enemies are moving in, and they anticipate us not having the numbers to resist. It is up to you to prove them wrong. Get this message out, and wake up the Patriots! I don't need to remind you what would happen should we fail. One of these days could be our last. By helping and taking action and contributing to the cause, you'll be remembered as taking a stand against the great state before it completely destroys everything we know. Most of us die pointlessly and are forgotten. Do you really want to die without making a sound? Oh. Either stand now or kneel forever. <laughs> you alright? He's, He's, He's dead. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. There are only days left. The gloves are off, the safeties are off. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. The blow is is over. War is here. If we don't make this happen, history will not remember us.
that they were leading other people captive as they were pulling them from their homes. I was then shown an angel leading some people from the back of their house. I am shown a Walmart directly in front of me, and these people who were being led captive were taken there, inside the Walmart. I knew they were being given the mark of the beast, and if they didn't accept it, they would be shipped off somewhere else. They are getting ready for the real thing, and if you're not awoke to this, then you are going to fall victim, because what are you going to do? You're either going to accept when there's no more food coming in, when there's no more water coming in. If you're not already prepared spiritually, if you haven't already sought Yahuwah and his son Yahusha, then what are you going to do? You're going to blindly just go to Walmart or whatever other store that the government has open. You're going to blindly go there, blindly accept the chip without even knowing it, blindly go into these deep underground military bases thinking you're being protected when really they're just leading you right to the slaughterhouse literally and like i said i'm sharing all of this with you because you need to be aware of what's going on around you because like i said the media mainstream media is trying to distract you as much as possible but now is the time to wake up and see what is going on at the fema camps there are uh and when you step out of line, there's no fighting about it. They just take you back and have your head cut off by this guillotine. And People they were being decapitated? Constantly. Thousands a day. But now, see, I haven't even gotten into the good part yet about how uh, people who didn't get killed right away and that they were used for food and blah, blah. Their bodies but, were used for food? Yes. Um, After the FEMA camps? Yes. What? what <laughs>